Hi everybody, I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of my BMW Z4M Coupe that's for sale. Uh, I love this car. I've had it now for, it's hard to say, 11 years. Uh, and in that time, I haven't put um, uh, more than about a thousand miles a year on the car. Uh, was driving a lot more uh, earlier in the ownership, um, but uh, over the last six or seven years, uh, life changes have led to me uh, really driving it less and less and it's um, uh, largely set in uh, the garage except for occasional weekend drives uh, across the area here. Um, it's in really good condition. Um, you know, you can look at some of the service records. Just thinking through the things that have happened, um, just chronologically, uh, it had its service one, I believe that was in 2012. Uh, I believe it was in 2014 or 2015. Uh, I had the engine mounts replaced. Um, I've replaced the front rotors with race brake rotors. Um, these have a ton of life left on them. There's really no lip at all uh, in them. Uh, that was around in 2016. Uh, and then um, I was doing a lot of the maintenance on it myself, doing a lot of oil changes, fluid changes. Uh, it was one of the things that I was really into, as well as detailing. Um, uh, and then, so I've changed the oils. Uh, and the fluids about every two years. Um, the other thing that I did at the beginning of the pandemic, um, I knew that the tires were uh, short of life, so I replaced the tires. Uh, all four tires um, went uh, uh, 245 in the fronts, 275 in the rears. I replaced the rear rotors and all new pads, as well as, again, all new fluid uh, flushes. Uh, the only thing that they didn't uh, flush was the transmission fluid and the coolant fluid, but all the other fluids were replaced. Um, as I said, I uh, really uh, have enjoyed this car and the ownership and really enjoyed uh, the beauty and the aesthetics of the car. Got into detailing for a while. Um, before I uh, took the pictures, um, I get, did another uh, detail of it, a very light um, surface, uh, clean and um, a touch up of some of the paint correction. And then I applied a ceramic coating uh, to it with um, uh, the, the last coat products. Uh, engine bay has been, uh, is really clean. Um, car is rarely set outside. Um, there have been a couple of occasions where we've had to do, leave it outside for a few weeks um, because of different things that we were needing the garage space for, but otherwise it has been um, kept inside. Some things I've done to it, you know, they're really, if their person wants to really have this pristine, uh, they can definitely reduce, re um, take off all the modifications. Uh, but some things I have done is there is an RPI uh, air scoop in here. Um, the, uh, I put a BMW short shift knob in here interesting story of this. I was in an auto club for a while and this uh, guy was the first one to actually make these lighted. He did this um, on his own before BMW sold these. He took a short shift knob and um, and put a uh, light inside of it. It's kind of funny. This top moves a little bit, but um, it gives it a bit of character and history. Um, there's a rogue clutch top way back in there that you can probably see. Um, let's see. There's um, skid plates on the front here. Um, you probably don't need to see those, uh, but they're down here um, on the front, uh, underneath the car here. Um, I'm trying to think of other modifications I've done. The other thing else is a very common modification is take the clutch delay valve out. And uh, I did that when I first um, purchased the car. Um, and all of that stuff will, all of those original parts, Will come with the car. You can see the old scoop, the shift knob, oh the antenna. I also put a stubby antenna on there. Um, there's the old um, clutch delay valve is also included there too. Probably the other thing uh, that's not uh, notable is I put on KW V3s. I don't know that you can see them very well, um, but uh, we've I installed them uh, in 2020. Uh, this was a used set. They'd had about 10, 12,000 miles on them. I had bought them from someone on a forum post for some time ago, 
but decided I wanted to change and lower the suspension a little bit, uh, given that um, the original suspension had about 45,000 miles on it. Uh, the original suspension, if um, the purchaser uh, wants it, uh, will also come with the car because I still have it. I think that's about it for the walkthrough. Um, as I said, I really love this car. Really sad, sad to see it go. Um, if we had a bigger garage or bitter, different circumstances, I would still work to keep it around, um, but we just need the space at this point in time. Uh, last thing is um, the, uh, the battery uh, has been uh, replaced. I think it replaced that in 2015 or 26, probably 2016. It's probably, well, it still holds a charge really well. I have it on a trickle charger, but it's, uh, you know, got uh, five years or so uh, under its belt. Um, the last thing I would just mention is it's still about 5,000 miles away from its service one. Um, but that is probably the only major um, thing that needs to still happen uh, with the car um, uh, for the next owner to, um, to be aware of. So that's it. Um, I'm going to do hopefully a little drive clip here for everyone to be able to see, um, but I hope you've enjoyed the vehicle. If you have questions, you can contact me through Bring a Trailer, um, and I'm happy to try to answer them as best I can. Thanks for watching.